All right, guys, I fell down the EDC rabbit hole a couple months ago. Let me preface this by telling you why I fell down said EDC rabbit hole. If you are watchers of this channel, you guys know that we go on a lot of helicopter excursions. And in the more recent days, we've been kind of into camping. And if you've realized by now that I'm a little bit bent about being prepared, having the right gear, I don't like to be caught without my essentials. Now there's been a couple of trips that we've taken on the helicopter, one in particular that not scarred me, but made me realize that I need to be way more prepared when we go on these trips. So I decided to build out a little helicopter carry. In today's video, I'm gonna break down what is in my helicopter EDC pouch. I posted this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. A lot of you guys DM me saying, what do you have in this pouch? So I thought I'd make a video about it. The key for this for me is having something small. Before I had a large case, it was probably about this big and about that thick and it was just impractical for carrying around all the time. And a lot of the things in it I didn't really need or weren't really necessary to an everyday scenario. Let's start off with the pouch. This is the Alpaca Hub Hook and Loop Pouch. It's all black. It's got the hook and loop on the front. I got a little Pete's Pirate Life patch here. This thing has YKK zippers, so they're nice and smooth, which is key. I wanted something that was gonna be tiny that I could either toss inside my helmet or toss inside my camera bag that wouldn't take up a lot of space but would have things that I might need on a daily basis when we're flying if we get stranded somewhere. I'm building out a helicopter camera carry as well, which I'll talk about later because that one's a little more complicated and I have to test it out, but this will go inside that bag amongst other things. We've got the main compartment, which we'll open in a second, and then this small one on the front. Now, before I dive in here, there's a little attachment point on the top of this bag here. So I just added this number two espiner um, on the back. So if I needed to like hook that onto something, I could easily do that. Or if I needed to hook something onto this, I could easily do that. In this front pouch here, there's a couple of things. This piece of tool, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. I carry an Allen key. This is the Allen key for all of our camera plates. I usually, if I'm carrying a camera bag, I will have a camera multi-tool in my bag, but for emergency situations, this should get it done most of the time. And if not, I'll show you something in here that's gonna take care of it. And let's open this up. Oh, uh, clearly it's all black with a little bit of silver, cause come on. It's mine. There's a lot of organization in here. You could totally build this out however you want to. This is just what I felt that I needed to have on me at all times when we're flying. Since we have this out, let's talk about this first. This is the Big Eye Design Bit Bar 2. It's a pocket-friendly screwdriver. It's titanium and it has standard quarter-inch hex bits inside. So push it up, all your bits are right there. There's a little lanyard hole on the side. We've got a pocket clip. This can go in the top here and then we can take our bit out, stick it in, and now we have a nice long screwdriver. If that Allen key doesn't do what I need, if I need something that's more standard, then this has eight different bits in it that I can use. So that's super handy to have just in case something breaks. Let's put this thing away so I don't lose it. And let's move on. I have a knife in my kit. This is the Civivi Baby Banter. I like this knife so much that I bought it twice. I also have one in the helicopter emergency kit. We also travel with a machete just in case, and we're probably gonna add a hatchet to the helicopter, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this case. And then it has a little press closure here on the side. It's nice and small, it's very sharp, and it has like the belt hook there too. All black, uh, really love it. We have the Big Eye Design TI Mini Pen in Stonewashed Titanium. So this just twists and the pen comes up. It's got a little bead on the end. So how many times have we been stuck without a pen needing one and you're like looking all over your car or your purse or your bag and trying to find a pen? So this is a nice small one that kind of sits in the side here. This is my little pill case. I got this little pill case at Rite Aid. I just made a little vinyl for it, a pill icon on the front, a little bit bent, I think, but if you guys know me or are watchers of this channel, you know I have a lot of stomach problems and I get migraines. So it's really important that any time that I leave the house that I have at least my key medications with me, just in case. I just moisturized my hands and now I can't get this open. There's some Anaprox inside for my migraines or for period cramps. I've got Advil and Tylenol as well. I have Omeprazole in here to protect my stomach from those harsh medications because my stomach is very sensitive. I also have some Gravol in here, which is medication for motion sickness. And there's an Imodium tab, just in case you get the dirty diarrhea, 
and you're up in the helicopter and you have the Hershey squirts, you don't wanna be shit in your pants, so we keep an emergency Imodium or two in here. Over here we have the Olight i3T EOS in black. It has two light settings, five lumens on the lowest and 180 on the highest. So it's a nice small flashlight. I really wanted to put a headlamp in here, but a headlamp is quite large. What I like about this little tiny light is not only is it small, but it has this hat clip on it. So it could basically double duty as a handheld flashlight, as well as we can put that on my cap if we needed to and use it as a headlamp. Really handy when we're in the helicopter, especially if it's at night and we're getting stuff out of the back, we're packing out, we're moving. That's that, it takes one AAA battery, nice matte black. I haven't fully put it to the test yet, but so far it looks pretty good. All the links to all the stuff is gonna be on our website, beckyandchris.com slash blog. I will link it in the description box. If you wanna check out any of this stuff, consider using our affiliate links. It helps support this channel. Two more things in the pouch here. I have a Pete's Pirate Life notebook that I cut down to fit in here. So this is just gonna give us some basically business card size pieces of paper. Like I said, just in case you need to write a little note, just in case you, just in case you need to write a little note or you have an idea and you wanna write something down or if you're out and you've ran out of battery and you're stranded and your phone doesn't work and you need to write something down, an analog backup. Also. Fire starter. The last thing in this kit is a micro SD card inside a full size SD adapter. The reason why I have this in here is in the off chance that we are filming something and we run out of card space on either this camera, the A7S3 or our GoPros, we have the ability to film something. Now, I might not be able to film the specs that I normally film these videos with on this card, but this will at least get me some 1080p footage and then I have something to use that looks better than my phone, especially if my phone's dead. So this is a ProMaster Rugged Micro SD with the SD card adapter. And this is a V30 card and it's 128 gigabytes. So we can use this in the drone, we can use this in the GoPros. And then as soon as we put that in the adapter, then this can go in our camera and we can record on that. So that's just a little backup, kind of peace of mind, knowing that's there, worst case scenario, in an emergency situation, you run out of card space, you forget your card, that's there. So that is what is in my helicopter everyday carry, little pouch, alpaca, hub, hook and loop pouch, say that a hundred times fast. Bare necessities, normally I'm gonna carry a phone charger with me as well. That's either gonna go in the camera bag, it's gonna go directly in my fanny pack, or it's just gonna live inside my helmet bag. We've been caught a couple of times off guard without the essentials, so this should keep us covered for most things. We'll break down that camera bag in another video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Alpaca, hub, hook and loop, patch. Patch, it's not patch, hook and loop, Pouch. Jesus. This is the hel helicopter? This is not a helicopter. I actually had this Pete's Pirate Life Velcro pou pouch. Jesus. Patch. So I stuck that on here. Latch? That's not what that's called. A loop? A hook? A hook and loop? 